DPCM Capital. How do you get this? How do you get this ticker from that name? It doesn't even share any letters. Well, it has P in it. Oh, actually, this is a fairly new company. IPO'd in December. Had a little bit of a little bit of a run up and then somewhat of a crash. However, stuff crashed around this start of February, end of March time frame. So you know what? I'm willing to say that that's because of that and not because the company's trash. But is the company trash? Um. Oh, this ain't even a company. This is a spark. I mean, uh, it's a SPAC, so no, ownership structure is going to tell me jack squat. Smaller company with market capitalization of this this much, because, yeah, I mean, it's not even a company. It's a SPAC. Oh, Matt, but the company, the C in SPAC stands for company. Okay. Well, you know, my definition of company is something that makes money. So, uh, yeah. So you're flying under the radar of many institutional investors. Fair amount of stake in DPCM. Do they, though? I can actually see that for myself. Holders. If it, if it, if it comes up. They're held by institutions. 20, 29.30%. No insiders, though. That's, um... That's strange. Past earnings trajectory of DPCM Capital. What earnings trajectory? It has no earnings. It has no history. Company's largest shareholder with 90% of shares outstanding is, oh, CDPM Sponsor Group. Own under 1%. I know, Jesse, 1% uh, is very unimpressive. That might even be why it says zero here. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't even register as a number if it's under one percent. Okay. So not a whole lot of news or stuff to look at here. Not even rumors. Not even rumors about what the company it may eventually merge with is. Maybe people in the conversation. Maybe the. Maybe the Maybe the layman has some insight. I had to make a warm position past two days. No reason, just wanted to average down on, on my high cost basis. You want you 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 feel like you feel like your co your cost basis is too high, and that makes you want to buy more. Genius. What happened after market close? Hyperloop rumors again on Twitter. There's rumors that's going to merge with a company that makes Hyperloops? Virgin, uh, oh, Virgin Hyperloop. Connections to Virgin Hyperloop. Oh man, I gotta go to Twitter though. Twitter blows. If you can't tell, Jesse has awoken from his nap. Okay, so there's speculation that the company they're going to merge with is Virgin Hyperloop. But again, that's just speculation.
Might also be a company called Bird. I see a lot of people always a lot of people talking about that. I don't know what Bird is though. This is the SPAC of 2021, says that guy, because surely that guy knows what he's talking about. He's just a guy on the internet. It's not like I warn you about that every time I do this opening. Um, but as a SPAC, it is still in the early stages of speculation. Stage zero, I would say. So, yeah. I'll give it a buy. Well, why, well, why the hell not? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hit that spac speculation or speculation, if you will, hype eventually, and it's gonna take off like a rocket, because that's 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 what always happens, because reasons.